Yeah, I know. I just said that um, that my friends don't do yoga. I mean, she goes. With, she she's gone with me sometimes, but but uh, yeah, she actually she was one of the first people I met when I moved to this town. We, we used to work at Taco Bell together, so so we've known each other for like a, for like over ten years, I think. Oh damn it! All right, back ins we go. Woohoo! Oh damn it! So now the bad news is that now um. Now in, like, the description, I'll have to be like, Oh, this was an item, this is a buster-only run with an asterisk, because that one fucking time I fucking used the item. Ugh, damn it. Oh, well. I'm not, oh, fucking well. It just say, you know, it's possible that that one man saved me from having to replay a level, but I still, I still beat the, I still completed the level and killed the boss without, um, without using the thing, so... So I'm not super worried about it. Oh man, freaking love the music in this game. Like, ev like, ev like every um, I don't think there's like any songs that I don't like from the boss masters or whatever. Um, see, this is a freaking trap. Okay, so you want to fall down this one, and then if you can make all these jumps, you can get another E uh, jam. I still have the. Oh, I still don't. I don't have the. Oh, I thought that you got to keep your thingies, man. Well, I hope that there's at least one in Flashman and Crashman's stage so I can farm. Or at least have one for the boss. And then this one's a, this one's a trap, too. If you run underneath, you can go like this and, oh shit, don't do that. Oh, damn it. You get like one chance before he hops back over. It's like lure him over. If you jump, you... Oh, shit. Huh! Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's not quite... The controls in this game are, like, tight, because it is a Mega Man game, but... You don't have as much, like... Oh, you ass. It seems like, um... Mario games are, like, more forgiving about, um... Giving you, like, a little bit of extra... Like, you can be closer to the edge without jumping or whatever. I actually watched uh, a video about um, ways that video games, like, help you out that you might not be aware of. And that's uh, that's one of the ones where, like, the game sort of gives you, like, a couple extra pixels after you leave, after you jump off. And if you hit the button, like, a few, a few like, you know, a split second too late, it'll still count a jump even if you're in midair. Or even if you ran off the cliff. I think Super Meat Boy is like one of them that does that. It's like a little bit forgiving. But then you can tell the games that that don't give it to you. Because then those are the ones that you... Um, those are the games that you... It looks like you just ran off, but you just hit the button too late. Just because you, you're probably used to games giving you that little extra help or whatever. And then... Um, another one that they said... Uh, I didn't know this one either. Oh, I didn't know that one. And I just knew that some games were, like, picky about it. But I didn't know that that was actually, like, programmed in to, like, help you. And, um, another one that I... I, I forget what some of them... Oh! Uh, two of them were from, uh, games like Bioshock, where you have, like, a certain, like, health meter or whatever. They said that your HP is, you know, your HP is represented by, um... By that, by, like, that red bar, you know, the same one that's in, like, Dishonored. And, uh, they said that when you first start taking damage... Oh, shit. Alright. Let's try this again now. Now that I got a victory under my belt, maybe I'll do better. I don't know. Well, he looks so sleepy. But, uh, they said that when you first start losing life, you lose it, like, like, faster. Like, you, like you lose the first part of your HP, like, faster. And the reason is, um, I'll just make up a number and say, like, if you have 100 HP that's represented by this, uh, life bar, then you'll lose, like, 7, you'll, you'll lose, like, 30 HP, you'll have 70 left, but your bar will show that you're at half-life. And the reason they do that, oh shit, that was close. Okay, I didn't, I don't think I lost any lives on that other level. And the reason they do that is because, um... And yeah, this is totally true. You ever played those kind of games, and then it seems like you barely won the fight? Like, you just had, like, a little bit of life left? And the reason they do that is to, uh, to make it more dramatic. To make it seem like you barely squeaked by. 
uh, because you're actually harder to kill when you have less life, and they they do that on purpose. Okay. And, um, I don't know, did I explain that okay? Did, did you know what I meant by that? I guess you can't answer me, but... Oh, damn it. No! But, uh, yeah, they, they just did that to, um... There we go. They, they did that to make it so it seems like you survive close calls to make it more exciting and to give you, like, a sense of relief. And then another one was, um... Is, uh, also in the game Bioshock. I don't know if it's only in that... It, if it's only in Bioshock, but that was the example they used. They said that whenever an enemy shoots you from the side, they always miss with their first shot to give you a chance to, uh, to turn and face them. Uh, that way you don't ever, um, get shot from the side without knowing, like, like, what happened or who shot at you or whatever. See, I can, I can, I can, like, jump, ar I can, like, do the little, uh, jump around it if I mistime it, but then I don't have enough time to jump to the next one is the problem. Oh, damn. Let's turn my timer off. We'll try for a few more minutes. If I can't do it, we'll, um... I'll start the next episode with the, uh, successful, uh, attempt. There's only one of these, right? Did I, did I already do the... I don't remember if I actually... Oh, fucking... When it, when it shoves you off to the side like that, that's how you know that you were actually close to, to doing it or whatever. Because your body was inside the place where the block was gonna appear. Oh, damn it, okay. I'm pretty sure there's two of these. Did I already do the other one? Hmm, I don't remember. Yeah, this is definitely... I think this is going to be the only, um... Roadblock where an, uh, using an item is optional, but helpful, and I'm going to have an issue with not using it. Oh shit, it's this one. No, no! Okay, the one right next to the lava is the one. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I played I played the first Bioshock uh, twice, and they possibly also did it in Bioshock 2, and I never noticed that uh, whenever you get shot from the side, uh, they always, they're programmed to miss. I actually never noticed that. Oh, fucking... No! Okay, I made it somehow. Oh, damn it, but there's a little pause right there. Fucking... Oi. Oh, man. Come on, Mega Man. I can't even be mad at Mega Man, because it's me. Damn it. Oh, man. I'm going to start speaking in other languages. Like, like, gosh darn Dagaflurbin. Or I got to turn into Ned Flanders. Oh, gosh, D diddly dang. Come on, man! Come on! Gah! Oh, man. They make you walk back so far, too. I mean, it's not that far, but it's just enough to make you feel like you're being punished. They, I mean, they didn't have to make you go this far in this direction and then go back. They could have made... They could have made just steps right here. Okay, okay. And then the... Okay. Okay, there's one more where it's like a where it's like above you. I don't know where that one is. It's this one. No, oh, this one. No, it's this one. Ah oh, no! Oh, I tried to jump for the uh, the one to the right of it, but I was unsuccessful. Oh shit! And then once you get past the certain point, now I gotta replay the. I gotta replay this part if you fail. Man, that is freaking... That is rough, man. Yeah, I don't think I ever did that as a kid. I always just cheated. It wasn't until uh, I was... Excuse me. Uh, either a teenager or an adult that I actually finally did it for the first time. Oh, man. I almost missed that one. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've only done it, like, once or twice. Okay. But the bad news is that I didn't memorize it. Okay, so the third one... 
is the, uh, is the one we gotta go uh, jump straight up on. And then once we're over the pit, and then there's the, the other one where it's straight above you, how the hell are you supposed to remember which one that is? That's, that's like 20 blocks in. Um, 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 um. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. What the hell? I, like, hit my head on the ceiling. Do you see that? How did I not... It, I'm pretty sure that I... See how, like, when you... If, like, if you don't hold the jump for long enough, you kind of stay in the air for, like, a split second. But when you hit your head on the ceiling, you, like, drop immediately. I feel like... It seems like I hit... I don't know. There have been times where I thought something happened, and then when I checked the footage, it didn't actually happen the way I thought. But it seemed like I hit my head on, like, a ceiling or something. Like, my... I didn't get, like, my full, like, jump arc. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I guess this will be my last attempt. Uh, if I don't do it on this, um, attempt, if I die again, we'll just, um, we'll start the next episode with a successful attempt. Oh, damn it. Come on! Um... Well, if I can't do this in a reasonable amount of time, I might just have to have to use the item to get over it just for the sake of time and progress, man. I could just, I guess, move the goalpost, so to speak, and be like, well, I killed all the bosses with uh, the buster except the ones that you don't, um, that or that you, that are invulnerable to it. What's the name of Mega Man's, um, arm cannon? I'm pretty sure that in the, um, it was called the, was it called the Buster? And then at one point they changed it to the Mega Buster? Because in Mega Man 4, I'm pretty sure they changed the name of his, uh, Buster, because now he could charge it. So they gave it a different name, I think. And then I think in Mega Man X, they, um, they changed it to the X Buster, but... It could have been the Mega Buster, and then they changed it to the X Buster in Mega Man 4. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they changed the name of the of it between um, 1, 2, and 3, and then 4. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. So you can't actually make it if that happens. You can make it to the other one. But uh, it's it's your odds of making it are not uh, good. Okay, why couldn't they just done this the whole rest of the way? They gotta, like, throw, like, shit at me. It's like the... Oh, shit. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, I fucking did it! Oh, I'm so relieved. And I just have to not- okay, oh my gosh. That is actually- it's really hard to time that. Okay, I'm on my last life, I guess we're doing it. I mean, I- if I- I'm gonna go ahead and- okay, well, I guess we're gonna say Buster only and E-Tank only, or whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm using E-Tanks. I knew I was gonna need them if I was gonna do Buster only. Uh, the bad news is that I don't have any practice on this, uh, dude. Oops. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going silent right off the bat. I don't give a fuck. Really? Fucking really. I mistimed that last fucking jump. Ugh. Mistimed that last fucking jump. I fucking had him. You saw that shit, right? Like, I was getting hits on him. Like, it was nothing. Oh, I got hit by that one stupid bullet that that jumper dude, that that purple dude hit me with that made the difference. Fucking damn it. Okay. Well, in the next one, um, we'll start off at... At, uh, Heat Man. I'm just gonna use fuck it. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna use the item to get past that jumpy part. I fucking, I fuck, you saw me, I fucking did it once. Uh, if it's off camera, I'm gonna fucking just do it to get back there easier. So, in the next one, I'll show myself beating Heat Man and, um, we'll, uh, try Quick Man and Crash Man. Actually, I don't remember if. I think Crash Man has an E tank in it. I'm not sure about Quick Man, though. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to pew him. Actually, I think Quick Man, uh, you hurt him for two notches per hit, uh, I think, instead of just one. Or two little pegs or whatever they're called. Excuse me. Okay, so the next one we'll do that. And uh, thanks as always for watching. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, please like if you enjoyed the fail and the frustration and whatnot. And uh, please subscribe uh, to keep seeing more of my shit. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.